Attention gamers, in any given game of League of Legends, you are likely to run into around four normal people of average intelligence just trying to play the game and get better, then two people who are inconspicuous on the surface but they actually just lost four games in a row and are one enemy first blood away from blaming Jungle Diff as the main reason their marriage fell apart. Then we have the usual one trick hard smurf doing his 37th unranked to diamond series while simultaneously ruining the experience for everyone else, a few people who you question why they even buy a warding totem at the beginning of games and lastly that one guy who will inevitably be the talk of the group as their intelligence is just a few Brady's short of a bunch, and so far I have really only covered two syndromes, the wind twins, as cases of this syndrome are more common than a cold when nearly every Yasuo is running around with the constant sound of a deflating basketball whooshing out of his empty head as you realize people like this are the reason why shampoo comes with instructions. And by popular request, I have worked hard to cover the next serious syndrome plaguing the rift, Singe syndrome aka the flatulent feeder, the champ whose entire kit boils down to walking without tripping over yourself and crop dusting hooded midget employees until they keel over, and since the recommended playstyle is to edge with death like you have a fetish for it while simultaneously leaking scaredy cat shit smoke out of your anus as a form of bait, it was inevitable that we would run into a case of this syndrome eventually. Now full disclosure my own behavior in the game you are about to see was borderline sus as hell considering my ABC locked in gin and since there are no shortage of memes going around about Mr. Counten send you straight back to fountain, I thought playing fizz support and quote unquote jizzing on people would be a good time. So yeah flame me as being the problem too but this slippery nipple of a champ fared pretty well against the traditional supports and there is no better feeling than jerking yourself off knowing that a swollen venus fly trap is about to turn the color off on your opponent's screen. And while I might have played it a little bit on the careless side, this was nothing compared to what you are about to see. So if you are excited for more League of Legends Syndrome videos on this channel and are ready to watch how someone managed to screw up the walk in a straight line mechanic so badly, please slap the like button till it's bruised subscribe for more and let's get into the game. Don't forget there is a global $5000 free to enter giveaway going on link in the description because you may not be able to control your teammates, but if you win you can at least watch them feed while playing on a dope ass computer setup. Now Surfy Boy Singed gets us off to a feed foreshadowing start by intelligently picking a fight on top of 8 shit flinging midgets only to bust a nut on the ground before getting lit on fire into punch that ash waste my flash comboed for the kill. Meanwhile I get the bot side of the map off to a comparably awful start trying to hit this pink in its stink but the upright evolved bull comes in to make my jerking off of my E key do nothing until I learn how much damage my dismount does when I fail to land my slippy fish balls on the target so I flash further away from safety which begs the question, if a player dies alone in an unwarded bush, did he really even die at all? Anyways I decide sticking my oversized void tooth spork up that walking blonde light shows ass crack sounds like a good time so I do a loop around mid only to discover that Moo Moo Megabitch clearly must have a photo of me hanging on the wall by his bed at night as the bovine stalker followed me out of town to kill me. But this video isn't about my own personal feeding nightmare it's about this dumb ass of gas, and asking this guy to not overextend with no vision would be like asking a hooker for a hug as this chromosome diff quickly becomes a threesome and right when this overgrown sperm cell gets in the clear, he turns back for some leapfrog and you don't need coach ls to tell you that that was something only a dumb shit would do. And rule number one of being a dogshit teammate in solo queue is to not let deaths deter you from doing more dumb shit as he immediately picks another fight which wasn't going terribly until he gets RKO'd into tower and at this point any logical person would be like okay that fist fighting punk rocker doesn't like confrontation so let's cut our losses and come back fresh but oh no not this singed as he keeps the leaky gut rolling and runs straight back in to make another donation to the 200 years foundation. Fast forward and the combination of him having yet to place a ward or buy a pair of boots has him caught out and walking slower than a drunk paraplegic turtle so splattering a little I'm screwed sperm on the ground isn't enough to save him from giving up another super free kill. And a minute later when the tables are turned you may think he finally loses his kill virginity but the thing about feeding 4 kills to the champ whose dev team at Riot gives the best break room blowies to the balance team's manager is that the game will quickly start to spiral out of control. Back to bot and everyone is showing off their flashy dashy dance moves so I bust out some bait onto Obama and then I commit to sending this ADC to the back of the base even if it means tanking 3 tower shots dying and then having to type worth in chat just to feel less stupid afterwards. 
then I roam up mid to put an end to the spin slut bully bashing by first ordering myself an 8i ribeye and then learning the hard way that this particular Mr. McFister is already well on his way into his roll face on keyboard 1v9 evolved form and we are the lucky ones who get to deal with it. Meanwhile the single source of this impending doom is now taking his talents past tier 1 towers to spread his extra purple jam chromosomes in an even more moronic way, and eventually this attracts my banging internet gf to come collector free gold and you can tell by his reaction that he is just euphoric at the opportunity to flip and fart all over a cute blonde girl but one thing leads to another and before you know it Lux becomes the latest beneficiary of this overgrown sperm's presence on the rift. Back to bot and Jin Bean has them both butt ass naked lubed up and ready for me as I stick a shark summoner onto Golden Biden, flip in to spectate the meal and then rub some Tabasco on my spork to make it sting a bit more as I stab the cow for a double, hashtag get jizzed on. But the feeding efforts have now mobilized and spread over to the mid lane as surfing shitbag has joined the boys in a successful tower dive which is great yeah until he decides that sticking around to do the entire macarena would be a good idea which adds bobby the bull to the list of free handout recipients as katarina gets told to piss off that said this slimy salamander may be a support but in season 11 titles don't mean shit so I call my giant magenta masticator to come up for his dinner and then I join in for dessert and at this point you are probably thinking their bot lane is about to turn me into a can of smashed assholes but hold on to your scrotums boys after a quick jump at the cow's requests I do a slick dash into trident parkour and bam I was out like bad gas. Speaking of bad gas look who has graced us with his presence as he pauses in the bushes to try one more time to log into his brain which has had him locked out all night and by the looks of his next move I would guess he was unsuccessful yet again as desk popping some eggnog onto the ground will forever be the last thing we remember him doing before he died. Meanwhile I pace nervously before seeing if a 1200 pound piranha can salvage this shit fest. It lands me a kill on the cutie with the sparkling booty and then I greed for more as you know I have a sexual fetish for turning the color off on ADC's screens when waiting 2 more seconds for my backflip might have been prudent. Checking in on our favorite flamboyant fart machine and he is off alone discovering new territories like this is World of Warcraft and he gain XP by doing so until he lands himself in the worst possible spot he can be on the rift aka exactly where he wants to be as he makes no effort to remove himself from that bad decision so yeah you probably guessed that he gets his ass carried pop cherried and dead body buried there too. But luckily earlier someone dropped a little spy cam in the bushes hoping to catch some Lux up skirt action and this allows us to see the butt buddies heading to hatch some eggs so I asked Jin to send them a long range communication on my behalf that says attention gamers you are about to meet the largest Venus fly trap you have ever seen and then I flip my little floppy donkey dick in to ensure the introduction goes smoothly. And because this is gold elo the epitome of all trashy piss festivals, the game has turned into a bot lane team deathmatch and when I catch that blonde hottie trying to slip in late I head over to privately and promptly tell her that tardiness will not be accepted. Then I catch Singed coming to sneak in late as well so I try to stop him and warn him privately of the rule before he makes a total fool of himself but clearly at this point he has no problem doing that all by himself. But this is season 11 so news flash ADCs are about as useful as an armless legless man with a crayon in his mouth trying to draw a Monet when fighting assassins, as a point and click cue and two autos from a support is enough to toast his peanuts. Then I run back to regroup with my team who under the leadership of our O and 12 top laner are all drooling on each other and trying to claim objectives when I am busy chasing useless kills instead so I join in with a big Bruce and then dash for some Lux ass before getting the crystal cuckold and upon my release I eagerly do a flippy tea flop fish nuts drop on the broad. Then my plan was to scoot my way through the stripper but he grabs me by the slimy schlong and screams 200 years right in my face. And while a hyperfed set may be at the top of the food chain in season 11, ADCs are somewhere below headlights when it comes to being able to defend themselves so like a man after a vasectomy I shoot a blank with my alt as I keep chasing and what I know what is causing some weeb to have an aneurysm in his fizz one trick micro penis that I didn't cue to a minion to catch him with my E and so instead he gets away and I am forced to give up my hopes of inverting his anus again. Psych that's what I wanted that dumb bitch to think too as surely he will assume that I will defend my mid lane from getting 4 man mashed in but no I patiently rub one out in the shrubs just so I can pop out and say surprise did you think I was just going to let your fragile ass exist in this game. To which tilted Tommy has something to say and I hit him with that resounding insecure, worth, as a reply but you probably noticed my team flaming the fart bag so let's pan over to his actions during that time and yeah it is just impossible to underestimate this guy as he pre comes on the ground fails to flip the Jedi and then stutters into lane pausing briefly to decide he will flash in so that he can help their top laner gap close his way onto our ADC. 
Bravo singed you have truly outdone yourself with that one. Then a minute later he is alone which is a scary sight but hey congrats his baby gravy actually does something useful this time as he continues running around in circles debating if he wants to flip their monstrosity male stripper into our team's carry again but luckily he does not, opting to crop dust Jin's ward for a few seconds instead before committing to the fight. And by committing I meant eating a lux laser getting bounced around like a bong in Eric Foreman's basement and then running away half naked without having contributed anything of value to that entire ordeal. But no this mouth breathing fart snuzzler wasn't done as he wrapped around and then literally dodged into a light bulb to kill himself off. So then it's no surprise that they get the tower and continue pushing in but I am an opportunistic bruise sardine as I fling some bruise bait over the wall and then parkour my way in for a kill dash avoid cow bash 2 in 1 special. Short regroup in the bushes to pick a wedgie and decide what I am gonna say to this Lucian when I one shot him again and then I do some celebratory stun sitting and trident flipping before helping the rest of my team milk that dumb cow. Pan back to this pack sun looking piece of shit as he clearly is deep in thought contemplating how to handle this flying animal until he queefs on the thing which pisses it off and lands him slowed revealed and stuck in a cove as the bad guys are coming. Luckily our spin slut cosmic knife salesman of a mid laner was in the area and their jungler loses a smite battle against her before taking his free consolation prize of another kill making me wonder how an 0 and 14 singed is still worth 220 gold. But anyways I arrive at the fight and call Bruce in for dinner as three of us try to take down this mythic difficulty raid boss. I get airbagged forcing me to flash out and dance around until I feel comfortable enough to come back in to try to steal the kill for myself. Short story time. Once upon a time there was a trolling support who died 9 times. He then proceeded to one-shot their jungler. This is Season 11 League of Legends. The End. Quick update on feeding Freddy here he is now trying this whole gank look on as he runs into lane toggles on his tilt juice whiffs a piss coin and then proceeds to mindlessly chase until the punch punk has had enough and gives him a few well-deserved slaps before taking him on a ride which sends him back to fountain. Cat requests the spotlight for her spin performance and Lux goes the extra mile and then you see yours truly make an appearance stop for a second to chuckle at my own depression while looking at singed dead bitch body on the ground before proceeding to call Bruce in for a baked blondie. I give her the support one shot special and then I start running from the walking abomination of fed broken bullshit until I get the idea to do a little parkour body flop and he gets the idea to somehow not take damage from which gives Riot the idea to fuck me over I guess. But Singed can defend tower don't worry except he can't comprehend how flinging that gelled up meat spinner just puts him in a perfect position to carry the fight outside of the sentry surveillance territory so yeah he dies a useless death once again. Deja vu you are having? Nope Singed is just a light snack malfunctioning ATM at this point as the whole team hops on him and turns him into a dumb shit popsicle again. Then I get out of base with a vengeance as I run straight past pretty boy because we all know how fighting him would end so I let him be my team's problem and opt to milk the cow instead before trick 2g shark came outing the blonde again and giggling as I wait for it to consume her. But unfortunately in the next team fight I very skillfully flash right into the splash zone allowing this roid raging Chippendale to rip right through my entire team once more and this finally puts the nail in the coffin and a resounding end to all of our suffering as singed ends with an impressive 0 kills and 18 deaths. Thanks for watching me relive the agony I went through in this game and I cannot wait to read all the comments accusing me equally for this loss because of my naive desire to want to jizz on bot lanes. Huge freaking shout out to my new members on YouTube as the live streams have been an insanely fun time and I hope you are all enjoying the interaction as much as I am. Also don't forget the sugar daddies who are paying me to be me which makes me feel like a stud muffin and allows me to keep making content like this. Pet your dog jerk your ween say turtle soup in the comments if you are still here and listening and as always, rav out.